what's up and good morning guys so it is the end of week one of my 10 week prepping series i am now just over nine weeks out from my first show of 2019 uh, today i'm going to be taking you guys through a full day of eating i'm going to show you exactly what i'm eating how much i'm eating in terms of calories my macronutrient breakdown my carbs fats and proteins um, I'm going to show you when I'm eating what, I'm going to show you the supplements I'm taking um, and yeah, basically I'm going to give you guys an outline of my diet going all the way up until the competition. But let's get dressed, much better, let's get this bed done because every morning the first thing I do to make sure I'm having a productive day is make my bed. So make your beds, don't be lazy, get it done. Now that that's done. Um, we could get on to the juicy stuff. So, 10 weeks out, I am currently eating 2,600 calories. How did I work that out? There's one of three ways you can use. So, you can either use Google Internet, Google, Google BMR calculator, which will basically work out your basic metabolic rate, which is the amount of calories your body needs to survive without doing any exercise, so just existing, chilling on your couch, being a potato, your body's gonna need a certain amount of calories to function, um, to digest food, think, all that stuff, etc. Um, or you can use my fitness pal, you type in your goals, um, your weight, your height, your age, all that stuff, and that thing will pop out a number for you, a certain amount of calories, um, depending on your goal, obviously. Or thirdly, you can calculate it yourself by again googling the equation to calculate it out but that is just far too complicated. The way I did it was I just simply googled the BMR calculator, found out my basic metabolic rate and through your quite a while I worked out what my body responded well to, how many calories I was taking in versus um, putting out in terms of exercise and I found a sweet spot where my body responded to ca my caloric intake the best. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm on 2,600 calories, which still isn't a lot for my size, well, my weight and height. Um, I'm gonna be eating the 2,600 calories for the first two weeks of prep. So for this week, past week, I ate 2,600 calories. It wasn't a set diet. It was more flexible dieting, trying to clean up my diet, get myself to be motivated to get back into dieting for the next 10 weeks. Um, from today, however, tomorrow, you'll see when I prep my meals, everything's gonna be a bit more structured so I know exactly what I'm getting in, when I'm getting in, and how I'm getting it in. It's gonna be made up of clean proteins, lean proteins, good complex carbs, um, and good healthy fats. Um, fats are super important guys, do not leave your fats in. In my past prep I did neglect my fats and um, I felt tired, weak. I mean that also comes with a calorie deficit but still guys get those healthy fats in even if you need supplements um, like an omega 3 or whatever. Um, but yeah that's that. Um, as the day goes on I'll show you the carbs I'll be eating, the proteins and fats just so you guys get quite a simple idea of what to do. And then at the end of the vlog, this dope vlog, um, I will answer a few questions that I put out a Q&A on Instagram, um, and you guys swung through quite a few dope questions, and I'll be answering those for you. But I've got some fasted cardio to do. Um, I'm gonna show you what I have in terms of supplements every morning before my fasted cardio but I want to get that done, get that out the way, so I can have some breakfast. So first things first guys, every morning I start my day with the exact same two supplements, um, and that is my EHP Oxy Shred. This is kiwi strawberry flavor. I have a serving of this every single morning. It is rated the world's best thermogenic fat burner. I have that with a serving of glutamine just to prevent myself from going catabolic and breaking down my muscles during my fasted cardio. And then, sorry guys, the third one. This one I have while I'm doing my fasted cardio, my Beyond BCAs, just as a, to prevent muscle breakdown. Because you do not want to lose or waste all that hard-earned muscle. Um, 
But yeah, whether or not I'm doing fasted cardio, I have the oxy shred and the glutamine and then the BCAAs only on days I'm doing fasted cardio. So I'll drink this down and guys it tastes delicious, especially this kiwi strawberry flavor. Mm. Now for the sad part, time to get that faster cardio done. So I just finished cardio <clears throat> about 10 or so minutes ago. Um, what I basically did was I just went for a cycle, I think it was about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Um, obviously it depends on how fast you cycle, I do a route of like 14 or 15 k's when I'm not too keen on going to gym and uh, sitting on a treadmill or cycling on a spinning bike. But I'm in the process of making meal number one, breakfast, which is literally the same thing every single day, just because I love it so much and this is my favorite meal of the day. Um, We've got all our ingredients here. This is what's going into the omelette. Uh, it's going to be three eggs, one whole egg, two egg whites, a handful of spinach. Then we've got our bell peppers. We've got orange, this is the first time I've seen that, but I thought I'd put it in. Some yellow bell pepper and some red bell peppers with some mushrooms that I just cut up for you guys to so save you guys some time. Um, and then I uh, just use some spray and cook in a normal pan and I cook that up with the eggs and it honestly makes for a really good omelette. I don't scramble my eggs or anything, I just leave it as is because I dig I dig eating the the egg yolk. It's actually like a secret little craving that I have. But um, it actually tastes really good once it's all done. And then with the oats I just use normal jungle oats steel cut and then what I do is I don't know if you can see it's like a powdery form like super powdery it looks like flour all I do is I blend it up until it's super powdery like that um, in a normal blender and then I cook it on the stove um, with the pot that's boiling now cook it on the stove for like five to ten minutes and it gives it an awesome texture it's like a, a spongy pudding mix and it is just so good guys just give it a try and then with the oats i put an egg white in right at the end just mix it up gives it so much more volume because the name of the game is volume when you um cutting calories not that i am cutting calories at the moment um and then what i'll add to that is i'll show you later is a scoop of isopep zero from ehp labs um chocolate flavor with maybe some cinnamon but yeah i'm gonna cook this up and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. So this is meal number one. Um, my omelette, I just added a tablespoon of guacamole on there. That's what the green stuff is, but check how good that thing looks. Looks like a breakfast pizza. Um, and then I got my oats. What I added to my oats was 10 grams of almonds, a serving of isopep zero, chocolate decadence, absolutely delicious. And then, well, as always, you gotta have your unicorn juice or unicorn tears, black coffee, and the bigger the glass, the better. I have a relatively high protein intake, so I aim for like 250, 260 grams of protein. Um, carbs I keep low, between 150 and 200 grams, and fats, you are struggling with my fats, so I try to keep it around 60 or 70 grams. So I'm gonna prep meal two and three now, possibly four, depending on how I feel later. Um, and since it's a Sunday, I'm also going to get my week's prep out the way. Um, just do everything in one go. And it is pretty, pretty damn easy, guys. I'm basically just going to boil a ton of chicken breasts and potato. And the reason I do that is because it is easy, simple. I don't have to watch it. I just let it cook on the stove. Um, and obviously, the longer it boils, the softer it becomes. And it becomes like a shredded um, chicken. So it's actually super delicious the potatoes also just boil until they're nice and soft and then i eat them i mash them up mix it with the shredded chicken um and this way i can get so so much prep done so i use basically like an entire thing of chicken breasts um, i mix it up between two potatoes and normal white potatoes and then basically literally what i do is i just put a ton of water in two pots 
um, let it heat up and boil and then I uh, chuck some pepper, garlic, um, salt, uh, herbs and whatever else I want in there and I let it just boil away for two or so hours until it's nice and soft and then I take it out but I'm gonna put that stuff in now and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I'm gonna probably add some broccoli um, salad or some peas to that just because I want to get some greens in as well but yeah let's get going so there we go I just chucked in a whole bunch of chicken fillets and um, we've got some bay leaf in there some Italian herbs uh, salt and pepper and then just some salt and pepper with potatoes yeah guys it is that simple that easy and it is really good I don't always boil it but um, the reason I do boil it is because it is more filling and my carb sauce potatoes Potatoes, I love potatoes because they are the most filling um, Carb sauce out there. So per 100 grams you're looking at about 17 18 grams of carbs um, Versus like a hundred grams of cooked rice. You're looking at like 34. So you're getting so much more food for so much less um, And that is my main problem always struggle to get full so by boiling it, it doesn't dry it out when I, as if I'm like baking in an oven. So it just keeps that volume. Um, and then if I don't if I don't boil it, I'll put it in the oven and let it bake that and the chicken breast, or I'll just cook it on a pan with some coconut oil and that. But as I say, this way is just so so much more convenient, and you can get so much more done. Um, so I'm gonna let that simmer away for the next two hours or so, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is meal two, this is my pre-workout meal. We've got 100 grams of boiled shredded chicken. Absolutely love it guys, it is so, so soft. Then we've got 100 grams of boiled white potato, uh, 100 grams of green peas, and I don't know, about 50 grams of cucumber with some of this reduced oil salad dressing. Absolutely love this stuff. Um, it just basically has less oil than normal mayonnaise. Um, if I don't use the mayonnaise, I'll use Nando's peri peri sauce. There's so many different types and they're actually really macro friendly. But just to show you guys how I prep my meals for the week. So there's all my potatoes done, all boiled, nice and soft. I got all my, my boiled chicken, which is also super soft, it literally just falls apart. Um, and then I keep it like this and then whenever I'm having a meal, I just grab it out the fridge and uh, dish up. But yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be having now for my pre-workout and my next two meals. Um, if I change it up, I'll show you. But also throughout the week, it probably will be mainly chicken and potato with either a side salad or whatever. Today I was a bit lazy, so I just cut up some cucumbers. Um, but yeah, that's basically how my lunch looks um, during prep and Sometimes I'll have red meat. Um, I actually choose to have my red meat for dinner, but we'll check that out later, see if I have a steak or something. But we're off to train arms, so I'll check you guys there.
So what's up guys, this is my third meal of the day. Just finishing it up. It's basically exactly the same as the last meal, meal two. I had one other meal and instead of peas and cucumbers, I made a side salad just with some tomato lettuce and um, some cucumbers. Um, but yeah, as I say, this is meal three. What I forgot to tell you is that there is some avocado in each of them. I think I had 20 grams in each meal just again to get those healthy fats and then I did not show you guys my post my post workout shake which was one serving of isopep zero the chocolate flavor I used in my oats this morning um, with some alglutamine and then I also had a BCAA shake with that but um, macros at the moment we're looking at Total calories for the day, <clears throat> we are on 1,500 calories. Now macros, 150 protein, 102 carbs and 44 fats. And we can check that out. So I've actually got quite a bit of catching up to do if I want to make that 2,600 mark. Reason I haven't been on top of my game is because it's a Sunday. I was lying in front of the TV and took an afternoon nap that lasted a bit too long. But... Um, I think we're going to have some steak tonight with some rice, mix it up and um, we'll make up those calories a bit later on. But yeah, that's meal number four and yeah, dinner's up next. Up guys, so we busy cooking, Yo, sorry the light, we're busy cooking our fifth and final meal. Um, what I just put in the pan here, yeah, had some coconut oil, some of that zero, zero calorie cook and spray. Um, this is the coconut oil. And then some cauliflower rice with some green peas and corn. We got about 200 something grams in there. I just eyeballed it because it really doesn't matter. It's so little calories anyway. It's just to make up that volume. We have cooked our steak, it's in the fridge busy sitting with my sweet potato. So this fifth meal is going to be 200 grams of cauliflower rice um, with the green peas and corn with 150 grams of sweet potato and 150 grams of cooked lean steak. Um, and then with probably 40 or so grams of avocado because I need to bump the cheese up on my fat intake today um, and then yeah I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done when this is all done cooking um, I'll probably have some salad with that as well just to fill me out a bit more so this is meal number five dinner I've got my 150 grams of cooked tenderized steak lean that I've just cut up with my 150 grams of sweet potato with a little bit of the reduced oil mayonnaise and my 200 grams of rice cauliflower with green beans and corn and then I got this monster salad which is absolutely delicious got like a whole tomato chopped up in there like 200 grams of cucumbers and a whole bunch of lettuce with gherkins obviously because gherkins are life um, this is meal number five the macros for this are uh, and I've got 40 grams of traditional guacamole in there as well so when I mix it all up it just becomes a delicious mixture of deliciousness <laughs> um, but for dinner this is without the guacamole which I'll add in later it's 475 calories you can check it out there um, again guys I'm gonna put the full macros for all my meals on right at the end um, if I add the guac, it's probably plus another 100 calories, so it's, we're looking at about 600 calories for dinner here, and we have gotten up to 2,050 for the entire day, with my macro sitting on 185 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat, and 145 grams of carbohydrates, so I'm probably going to have another meal after this just to make up the rest of those 500 calories or so 
probably end up being a smoothie or some sort of dessert. But that's meal number five. I'm gonna enjoy it. And yeah. So guys, after dinner, um, I had one serving of this EHP Oxy Whey Lean Protein. Just because it's a bit slow, a bit slow released form of protein because it's a blend. Um, so it should last me through the night. As I said, I had one serving of that with half a cup of crushed ice, um, some water and a tablespoon or 10 grams of uh, smooth, no added sugar peanut butter. Um, and that was my final meal of the day or well, it's night time now and I'm done eating. It's Sunday evening and my total calories for the day are 200, 2,282. Um, my macros, 217 grams of protein, 66 grams of fat and 100 and 62 grams of carbs and I'm gonna leave it there guys I know it's not meeting the 2600 calorie mark for the day but because I gymmed arms and it wasn't a strenuous day I chilled for most of the day other than that and my fasted cardio I'm gonna leave it there um, so basically on days where I do less I try to eat a little bit less in terms of uh, overall calorie calorie intake but my carbs I kept under 200 on a day like legs they'll be a lot higher like 250 um, but yeah that's all the meals for today then I've got a few questions from you guys and another thing I just wanted to tell you um, so at the moment I'm on 2600 calories a day and that's gonna be from well it was from week 10 to week 8 I've got one more week left of my calories being that high and then as the weeks go on I'm gonna slowly cut 200 calories um, all the way down to hopefully just 2200 because um, last time I prepped I cut my calories way too soon I was eating like 2000 calories a day for the last six to five weeks and it just killed me I had zero energy couldn't function properly and I just struggled with everything so from week 10 to 8 2600 from week 8 to 6 2400 and then from week six to four, 2,400, and then depending on where I am there, um, I'll either cut the 200 calories or remain in maintenance depending on how I look and how lean I am. Hopefully I won't have to cut those last 200 calories because eating 2,000 calories a day is pretty tough. Um, but I do have a few questions here from you guys that you guys asked. What do my calories look like when I'm cutting? Well, I basically explained it to you there. What is your macronutrient split? So my protein always stays pretty constant at 250 or well, 230 grams to 250 grams a day. Um, just so I don't lose muscle because if you do not get enough protein in guys, you will lose muscle. Then my carbs, as I say, on a normal day between 150 and 200. On an exceptional day where I do a lot of exercise, where I'm training legs, I have cardio or or I've been running around the whole day, I try to get a bit more, like 250 grams of carbs. And my fats also stay pretty constant between 60 to 70 grams a day. Um, do you do fasting? Well, not during prep. I have fasted before, during holidays I would fast for half a day, just because I was eating badly and um, it was the best way to keep my calorie count down. So I would not eat all the way up until lunchtime and then from lunchtime I would eat and do whatever just to try um, take damage control. Um, then how much does your weight fluctuate on an effective cut? Well, last prep my weight went down in eight weeks from 88 kilograms to 80 on stage. So that was a kilogram a week, which is pretty tough. This week I'm trying to come in a bit heavier between 84 and 85 kilograms. At the moment I'm about 88, 87. And I'm pretty lean, I know I'm in single digits, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll probably drop a bit more. Then another question is, uh, what type of carbs do you recommend in your day-to-day -day diet and how many meals do you have? So guys, I know a lot of guys say, oh, you gotta eat six to eight meals a day um, to speed up your metabolism, but actually there is no fact to that. It hasn't been scientifically proven that the more meals you eat, the faster your metabolism is gonna be. Um, 
I literally just base everything off calories in and calories out. I keep it nice and simple. My um, total calories, well, in terms of meals, I split them up into smaller meals because I do get hungry throughout the day. And I find if I do eat smaller meals, I can like handle the hunger a bit more because I'm eating more frequently. Um, and then carbs, I like to keep my main carb sources as potato, rice, a little pasta every now and then not often and oats i don't have much else other than that and from like secondary sources of carbs such as a ton of veggies and um, fruit like i'll have one or two fruits a day maybe a banana before gym or an apple before or after and then i try to eat my highest carb meals before and after gym when i start getting really low on the calories but guys that's that i hope you enjoyed today's vlog please if you haven't already like and subscribe um then as well with my supplement sponsor ehp the one and only um love their their stuff guys i really do honestly the best stuff i've had uh, you can check my stack yeah it's quite comprehensive you can use my code nisa 10 for 10 percent of all your online orders please guys do a boy a favor and use it but guys also like and subscribe to my channel really really helps me in terms of growth and then leave a comment let me know what you guys want to see let me know if you have any questions sorry if this thing's not focusing let me if you let me know if you have any questions or anything you want to ask and thanks for watching